Okay, so now that the um, we got the tempo and the signature uh, uh, time signature thing working, let's try another thing. So going back to what I've printed using get info uh, to come out of live object after receiving ID one, which is a live pass live underscore set in the live object, then I printed it right get info and all this thing. So among all this huge list, oops. <laughs> Uh, all all these things. When you look at it, um, it says property, property, property. Then here it becomes function, function this and function that. And here something like uh, let's see, start playing, right? Start playing, stop playing, which is this and that in in live. And you can do this from Max. How do you do it? So. I could not find it in the manual, which I'm sure it's there. I just couldn't find it, but um, I figured it out that you need a message call. So call, when it says function, uh, you can call it. So I'm just going to paste this. Okay, so uh, I don't need this. Oops, let's stop playing. And this is going to be start playing start playing. So simply I just connect to the live, live object that has the live underscore set path of an ID one and I'm in the arrangement view I think. Uh, it doesn't matter either way. Anyway so uh, let's watch See? and stop like that. Start and stop. Did it print something? Okay, so it's just saying start and stop. But anyway, so you can uh, uh, trigger from whatever you do in uh, Max, right? Start and stopping. You, uh, I think there's a continue playing also. So if I do this, continue, continue playing, um, it will not always go from the beginning, but it will go from where I just stopped. Oopsie. Okay, so let's just escape this way. Okay, so start playing. Right? Stop playing. I can just escape here. Where is my cursor? And then, see? I'm here. Stop. Continue. And continue. So just by that, you can probably create something really interesting interactively, right? So you can use that um, easy. Okay, so uh, now that we have this, let's go back to the getting children um, again. So we saw that the get children of the live that path space live underscore set are these guys, cue points, master track, all that stuff, right? So let's see the cue points here. So now you would think that I can just do this. I can just get, okay, uh, like path, right? So uh, if I can just copy this cue points, that this will work. Unfortunately, that is not the case because this time I'm going to put the cue point number in it. Right, so uh, in order to do that, this one, this alive that path does not accept a, a integer. So what you have to do is instead of um, th doing that, you just give it the entire um, message live underscore set space. The first child is Q points. So Q underscore points. And uh, believe it or not, the hated dollar one sign, I say hated because everybody does, <laughs> uh, X, right? Which, which Q point? So believe it or not, I can just do this, right? And then, okay, so here's the thing. Um, you go back to your LOM, uh, live object model, and you would find that Q point live set Q point. This, this is where we are, and this is what exactly what I just did, right? 
live live underscore set q point q points and n is like x right whatever so dollar one dollar one and then you see function listed here called jump so i can jump to uh, set current a laser playback playback position to marker right so okay um, then what i am going to do is to attach live object and let's see what id number it will give you so i have i just set um these uh, markers here um, i think uh, you live users are good at this I'll control click on this thing and add locator and you know i can add locator right locator meaning these cue points or whatever so i have like one two three four five um locators right now so uh let's see Oh, um, Mari has to learn to love the zero. So the first number one locator is a zero. One, two, three, four. So zero is ID eight. One is ID four for some reason. Maybe I erased it or whatever. Two is five, three, four, and that's it, right? Because five doesn't exist. So zero, one, two, zero, right? So what I have to do is to connect this guy ID to give it to the object live object live dot object and let's say zero which is ID eight um, zero which means this one and what was it again jump right it was function wasn't it so remember what I said about function it's called jump so let's see uh, what she, what I don't know. Oh, my cursor is right here, right here. Uh, let's say called jump. See, it jumped. Let's jump to Q point three and jump. See, it did that, right? Okay, so jumping is nice and all, but um, how can I play it? So here comes a. Um, so right now I am inputting. This is now a max lesson here. Oh, so here I am putting the integer in. I'm just going to read the target children for now. So I have a path live underscore set the Q point, which Q point, right? So I need to give the point number integer, right? Then I need to send a bang into the live object after it gets the ID number. Correct. So, the trigger object. I want to send the bang after I send the ID number. So, like this. So then, what this does? Three is an integer, so it goes in here, and the first one to go here, right? To give the ID number to Q point three, which will give you the ID number, which will send it to the alive object. Only after that, I want to send the bank to call jump. So let's see if it does what it's supposed to do. Okay, so let's jump to first Q point zero. See, and one, two, three, four, zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. So that's all great. So now, could I play it, <laughs> please? Right. So. Uh, remember this guy okay so I am going to just borrow these and there oopsie okay so um, actually it is um, kind of redundant looking maybe there's a better way to do it I just do it this way because it works anyway so um, live object that was starting and playing was getting the ID number of live set, right? So it's different from this live object who's getting the Q point ID. Isn't that right? So live dot path live underscore set. I uh, need that ID to go into the live object. By the way, uh, those of you who took my 
a tutorial lesson, you know the load bank load mass, right? To when um, the patch opens, it sends the bank. Uh, I think you can use the load bank load mass, but the equivalent of that in live is live. Uh, I think this device. So this sends a bang uh, automatically when the max device is loaded. So I am going to send it here, like this. So when I open this device, it will send the live path live set to the live object. So it's waiting for uh, that to happen, right? To for the start and the stop to happen uh, at the get go. So um, oh, don't do that here. Okay. Oh, all right. Here. So okay. So now. Um, this is why you see this uh, uh, T, B, I, B, B, L, da, 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 yucky stuff that people get really annoyed and confused um, happens. <laughs> so um, here, so now we know, right? We send the integer to get the cue point and then jump to that location. Then I just want to play. So I want to send a bang. I need another bang after that. So uh, this is going to mess up my ordering because it reconnects to the uh, previous place. So first, the integer to the pass. Second, oops, no. Second, to jump, jump to that place, and then start playing. Okay. Yeah, so I made a mistake there already. That uh, this had to be called continue playing, not start playing, because start playing seems to uh, go to the beginning or where he thinks it's the beginning so instead of connecting the start playing he call call continue playing so this is the start playing right and then stop playing or continue playing so this is call continue playing oh I'm clicking something here right it's the same thing this is the exact copy so the hope is that now I have a cue points sent to the live path that goes to the live object, then bang call jump, then bang call continue playing, where the this live object has the ID number one from live set, which was generated at the opening of this uh, this device. This is a load bang low mess of um, Max for Live. So let's try. So, um, I have one, two, three, four, five. So zero, one, two, three, four. So let's say four. Yeah, he works. He went there. And let's go to two. So that's the uh, uh, cue points. Yes.